Joseph was an unimportant slave who found he liked his master, consequently worked much harder, even with devotion. Potiphar could see that Joseph was a cut above the average native leader of his house of maximum commotion. My wife would never tell the lie. It's over in chapter 39 of Jealousy. It established itself after the initial reputation and the re initial success as a school's favourite. So now you've got a whole generation of school children who've sung in amateur productions at school, their parents now who are also in it, and new kids coming up, and so it's a self-perpetuating um, phenomenon. Well, it was obviously written for schools, and it's great that schools do continue to do it. And I think one of the reasons is, is that um, Tim Rice's lyrics are as fresh as they were when he originally wrote them. It's timeless. It delights children, and the delight of children will usually delight their parents. And I hope that it's always done in schools, because that is where Joseph is at its absolute best. Still people doing bobbing down when we're going up. We do a, a production every two years, which makes sure that all the children in the upper, in their last two years of school have the opportunity to take part in a large production. We have to choose something that will cope, cope for having a choir of 200, 300 children. And Joseph fits that ideally. The children love the music, they love the story, it can fit into our RE programme, so it does fit into the school curriculum. And it's fun to do. Uh, you can do one action in this, which it will be... Um, there's one more to go. Joseph, it's tough. And you'll be able to go, it's tough. And we might let you, nearer the day, do a bit of uh, ye hying at the end, but you have to know the words. Yes, we've got an absolutely massive production with uh, nearly 250 children taking part and lots of adult support as well, so that's really good. and I play Joseph. I'm Scott and I play Joseph. I'm Lindsay and I play Joseph. Hi, I'm Alex and I play Joseph. We've got four Josephs now, two boys and two girls, um, and uh, all, of, all of which are, are working very, very hard. They spend every single break time rehearsing on their own. Beginning again, words, words, words. They're getting more braver in front of everybody else because, of course, it's a tough, it's a tough role to play. It makes you feel quite important and like pleased with yourself because you're actually like the main character and you also get a lot of lot of fame around school because there's a lot of people that when you go round, people that you don't know all of a sudden know your name and who you are. Yeah. And it's like strange to just think, I don't know these people but they all know me and I don't really know how. I'd have given anything to be in something like this when I was young. Uh, and so that's why it doesn't matter about all the time and the effort that goes into it. Oh, now, brothers, how low can you stoop? You make a sordid group. Look at them up there. Are they sordid or what? Yuck. We, choir, we are despising of what they have just done. One of their own flesh and blood, they've ripped his coat up, they've flung him in a pit, then they've sold him to a couple of hairy Ishmaelites, and then, to top it all, they've killed a poor innocent goat. Honestly, do goats deserve treatment like that? No. no. See? Sordid they are, sordid. I'd never actually done Joseph as a child myself, which, of course, a lot of the staff had done, but um, uh, it's, I've seen it uh, three times. I saw it twice with Jason Donovan and once with Phil Schofield and um, thought it was absolutely fantastic. My, my first contact with, uh, with Joseph was actually at school, and uh, like most schools, like nearly all schools, I think, we, we had a production of, of Joseph, and... Um, and I went up for it, 
just to sing, I think. And uh, my music teacher said, uh, said, no, I don't, I don't think your, your voice is really up, up to it, so no. And I didn't get the part. The brilliant thing about Joseph is it can be done any way. And you can do it in, a, in, a, in the corner of a church hall or you can do it on a big stage. It seems resilient enough to, to survive any treatment. And that is because of the melodic freshness and wit of the, of the central core of the story. You've got to keep still, remember, because Andrew's singing. If you move, audience eyes will be on you and they should be on Andrew, all right? You've got to keep ever so still. Either hands by your sides or hands in front. Are you comfortable? My name's Andrew and I play the role of Joseph. I'm Ian and I play Potiphar. I'm Josie and I play Potiphar's wife. I'm Kelly and I play narrator. I'm Kyle and I play Pharaoh. When Alison came to see me and asked if we could do a production, and she said that we'd be doing Joseph, uh, it seemed to offer the kids a, a tremendous opportunity. Joseph because I remember doing it at secondary school when I think it was the Bill Kenwright production came to my hometown and I was one of the choir members and that memory really stayed with me because it was such a fantastic experience. It is a lot of work for the staff and for the children, but I think they feel it, it's worth it to give a, a breadth of education because you know, now with all the, the tests and league tables, there's a danger that education can become too narrow. And Joseph gives us an opportunity to do something which uh, some of the children who mightn't succeed academically will, will do very well. I go drama classes and I haven't been picked in a film yet and I want to become an actress, so I think it's a good start. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I want to be an actor and a It's a good start so. to yes. good start our mm. education. It was meant for the whole of the school to play and sing. And we had to take into account that some of the kids obviously were far less musical than some of the others. And, and, and it was actually written from that point of view. How did we bring involved and how do we involve all of the children of a you know, 400 strong school, uh, many of whom probably couldn't play a musical instrument. You know, so we, you know, we, we had to think, I, I had to think of ideas that would keep them all happy. And as it, as it expanded, as it got bigger, I mean, there was a lot of fun in the whole thing. I mean, the idea of doing a country and western song, I mean, it was just, it was just fun. Um, the idea of doing the French song, again, we, we, we just thought it was amusing.